This is a 2019 BMW X7. It's available in two different trim levels, the uh, XDrive 40i and the XDrive 50i. Starting at 73,900 up to 96,000, or excuse me, 92,600 MSRP. This vehicle is powered by either a 3 or 4.4 4, 4 liter engine. The 3 liter is a twin power inline 6 with 335 horsepower, 330 pound foot of torque, capable of 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds. The 5.0 uh, comes with a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 with 456 horsepower, 479 pound foot of torque, 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds. Each trim level is uh, propelled with an eight speed automatic transmission, capable of towing up to 7,500 pounds, with a cargo capacity inside of uh, 48.6 up to 90.4 cubic feet. And that is the 2019 BMW X7. The uh, all new BMW X7. <laughs> Come around here on the driver's door, give you a little view. Nice big deep storage pockets here. I love the, uh, the trim in here that they've done on this particular model. Power seats, power lumbar. Down here you have your light controls. Over here you have your digital driver's display and then over here you have a very long left to right screen um, it is of course Apple CarPlay compatible Android Auto um, you can do apps um, lots and lots of things you can do with that you have a Bowers and Wilkins sound system in here I do like the the, um, the lights up here how they're lined just a little attention to detail on that. Right. And you got your, of course, your climate control system and stuff will be up here. But then down here, you also have physical buttons for that. And then for your stereo down here, um, you notice there's a little red lighting. It comes underneath here. It is interior lighting. Um, that is just, that's really neat. Uh, down here on your shifter, you've got glass. Right in here, a glass insert here, glass on top of here. Um, and then, of course, a whole assortment of buttons and dials down here. Down here, let's see if I can open this. There we go. So it just takes a, just take, oops. If I did a little push, it goes, retracts on its own. I've got USB, I've got um, he, uh, heated or cooled cup holders right here. And a USB and a 12 volt outlet. I don't think standard. Right. Down over here, uh, here's the steering wheel here. I'll back up a little bit and give you a view of that. This is kind of cool here. And then down here below the light switch, I almost forgot to mention, you have another little driver storage area, but it's kind of nice because it actually closes. Uh, it's, very, it's very dampened, it's soft. Okay. And let's take a look at the uh, the center console here. We just got a push button, and it divides, opens up, and you've got a nice Apple storage down here along with a, um, a USB plug-in. Right down here, and this is the newer USB, so not even an option for the older style USB. Right, and close that up. And there's the uh, passenger's door there. All right, looking at from the back of the BMW X7, I, I really like the, uh, the lit LED lit line right here. You've got your uh, heated, uh, let's see, you've got, well, you've got a lot of buttons up here. This is the window shade button right here, and this is to put the shade down. Okay. And 
Power Captain Series. Now there is a unique thing. Some have a like power recline, but this is a full powered seat. Right here, this, you can get the bed seat in this, and then it seats seven. But um, that, that's how much room you're talking. That's about a foot between the, the seats. You've got in this particular model, we have the dual screens in the back for entertainment. And if I step in a minute. And you will see down here, we've got climate control buttons down here. You've got your uh, DVD input down here. And then you've got your heated seats on both sides. As well as your cup holders down here. Dual uh, USB. Again, these are the new USB, not the old ones. And then your 12-volt outlet. Each of the seats has armrests. Um, this side, of course, uses the, the driver's door. But then this side here has one that comes right up and then it ratches this and it holds in place and if you want to put it down you just pull up a little bit and then go down and you kind of hear it ratcheting there okay um third row seats so these are the buttons to fold the seats down uh, they won't work right now because it's not hooked up to power but we'll just kind of take a peek in here and there's the rear seat got some nice trim work down here and there's this other seat folded down. Of course, you can fold down the uh, this side of the seat, and we'll show you that right in the back. Okay, so in back here, you've got the uh, six buttons to fold your, your third row automatically. Still carrying through the LED lighting. And then in the third row, you have your own climate control system. So. Climate control system in the front for driver and passenger, dual zone. You got a climate control system in the second row for the second row passengers, and then third. So uh, the second row is not a dual zone, it's, it's a single zone as well as the third row is a single zone. But still, the third row finally has control over uh, the temperature. So basically, the vehicle is a tri zone temperature control, if, if you want to think of it that way. And the air vents are located up in here. Very nice.